Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome back. So today, of course, like always, back in the shop. And uh, I don't know if you can hear it. It's because it's raining. It's always raining, snowing. It's doing something all the time. I'm really hoping next weekend it's going to be the big debut of the old Talon. Uh, we are going to head to uh, Disney, Oklahoma and uh, go play on the rocks. Um, can't wait for that, man. This will be my first actual trail ride that I've ever went on, and I am pumped, ready to go. Uh, I got a lot of work to do in a week. Got a lot of parts set down in order to a bunch of stuff again last night uh, for this thing. Um, just hope some of it comes in. I ordered some last last weekend and uh, still waiting on the exhaust. I did order the Evo. Um, waiting on it to get here. It's like everything else is COVID crap is really screwing with everybody's life. Uh, shipping <clears throat> is just unreal. Trying to get stuff here. Parts for people. I mean, even me at my workplace, bad time trying to get parts. It's crazy. But anyway, I did get something in, and I'm going to show you this. I've never done a really an unboxing, uh, so I'm going to give it a whirl here and uh, show you what I got. So I did get the switch panel in, and uh, here's what it is, guys. This is the aux beam. Um, it's an eight light switch panel, and I, I really am so far. I'm impressed. It was really well packaged. Uh, this controller. I mean, this thing, it's its actually metal. Um, this is metal. It's got some nice brackets. Uh, it looks like it's got a bracket if you want to mount it flush. Um, it's got this angled bracket if you're going to mount it. However, uh, same deal here. You got a flush bracket, and then you got this one that kind of rotates around, which is going to really benefit me. Um, some nice labels. Looks like it's got about every label that I'm going to need. Uh, comes with the wiring that's going to go from the controller to your power source, uh, remote lead, and uh, that must be the power wire for the backlight. 60 amp resettable breaker, uh, miscellaneous hardware. Um, it even gives you, if you want to tap in, I think that's what that's for, is that is probably just to tap in so you get your backlight. Um, so we'll... Yeah, I got a spot for that. So anyway, um, zip ties, instruction manual. Uh, so anyway, um, this thing ought to do pretty good. I, you know, it's it's kind of, the, the reviews have kind of been, there's more positives than negatives. I mean, like anything else, you're always going to be able to find a negative review about something either somebody doesn't know what the hell they're doing when they put something in and they want to complain about it they're saying oh it's a company's fault you know some of them could be legit you know i mean i have seen some of those but it seemed like that those were with the kind of the first edition of these um so we'll see how this one is this one's supposed to be kind of auto backlight adjusting so that could be a good thing because i know some people were saying that man that thing is bright at night but uh you know, how, how are you going to tell if you get all your RGB lights going? You know, come on. So anyway, uh, as usual, though, um, I, I haven't tore this apart yet, but this is kind of what this thing looks like before you tear it apart. So this is the flap. You know, so all my electronics that I showed you before are up under here. You know, and the contactors way up here. So as you can see, I mean, it's pretty well covered except that little area over there. I don't, I don't understand why. Honda didn't bring this all the way over uh, but um, <clears throat> some of the stuff that I did order last night um, it, it was a toss-up man I mean there's so much stuff I want to get and it's like what do you get with the amount of money you have available because none of us well I shouldn't say none of us but probably a lot of us don't have an unlimited budget you know, uh, you know, I've kind of set aside a decent budget at the end of the month to work on this thing just to get it done, but I still have a budget. So I had to really pick the priorities and what I thought I could get done 
before I go to Disney. Um, so the first thing I did, and it is like everything else, I could not find a decent review on this stuff. Everybody's like, oh, this is this was better than that. And so anyway, it was a sound bar. I didn't know which way to go. So I couldn't find what they looked like in certain rigs and really what they sounded like. You know, one person said, oh, this one's more tinny and this one's got more bass. You know, come on, it, it's a sound bar. I don't see how any of them are going to have a buttload of bass if you don't have a sub. So anyway, I flipped the coin and I decided to go with a wet sound. Um, we use some of their stuff at work um, and it seems to be pretty decent stuff. So that's on its way. And then just a few other little things. I got a hillbilly break, you know, for the Talon. Um, I also am going to do the true isolator with the dual battery. So all that stuff is on order. It ought to be here next week. Um, so then I can get this on. Because, I mean, this, this thing with the electronics, you know, shifting, I really think that that's an avenue that, is going to have to be addressed so i might as well just do it up front and and get it over with so that stuff will be coming so then after that i'll do the rgb rock lights whip lights and uh the light bars and things so anyway i'm going to give you a quick little show of where i think i'm going to mount this little pad here and uh i am going to use the the swivel part of it and uh you know we're going to kind of see where I'm going to put it and how I think it's going to look. So we'll climb in the old town here. Um, I did get the pads to remedy my problem from how I ordered it last time. So anyway, where I think I'm going to go with this thing is right here in this top cubby hole. And uh, the way that bracket's going to work is it's going to allow me to lift it up and down to get still utilize that so I think it's gonna set in there pretty decent and uh, look pretty good so you know you could mount it back further you know you could you know I thought about you know it could have mounted right up here on the dash um, oh got stuck you know it could have mounted it way over here you know and let the you know my wife take care of that but you know if you're by yourself that'd be a problem um down here it doesn't really fit in there that well and then it would completely take away that bottom console um you know if you mount it here it's it's kind of upside down you know and then i think you know you'd run into the problem of hitting it with things um even thought about you know mounting it up here but I just don't, I don't know. You know, it's, of course you can't hardly see that, but um, I really think for now, I'm gonna start off, you know, I'm gonna put it right here in the center console. Um, it's always one of those things, guys, if I don't like it, I can move it. I'm gonna put the holes up underneath, you know, just a couple little holes for the screws. So it's not gonna be that big of a deal. Um, you know, I will have to punch a, a hole in the back, you know, just kind of, widen out one of the drain holes so if i don't like it I'll, I'll put a little push pin in there you know to cover it up so anyway i'll keep this video short but i just want to kind of give you an overview of how this thing is uh once i get it installed and i actually get all my lights hooked up you know i'll i'll do a, a better review of this thing and show you exactly how it works but you know it it is pretty neat because it's got this like master I can hold on to anything today a master on and off switch right here in the middle so you know i think that's going to be kind of neat you know if you're you like me i plan on running down the country roads a lot probably so at night if i got all the lights on you know i can just hit that and shut everything off at once if i have to so but you know i am going to put my sound bar on here for you know a power source so you know that would kill that but you know it's it's no biggie. It's just, it's just kind of there's a, I, I think it's a quick safety thing. You know, if you really popped over a hill or you turned a corner, you know, out on a trail and there's somebody running and you're not blinding them with, you know, a, a million lumens of, of light that you're going to emit off the front of one of these things or, you know, probably, probably not a million, but, you know, you're, 
you know, those LED lights are bright. We all know that. It, it seems like, you know, you could have something that's only 10 lumen and, it, and it's just blinding to you. That's just LED technology. So, anyway, I'm going to quit rambling on here. And, uh, like I said, I'll get this stuff installed. And, you know, I will update this video later and show you how it all went and turned out and what I really think about it. So uh, until then, guys, you know, you guys have a blessed day and uh, a good weekend. And uh, we'll make another video next weekend uh, when we get to Disney. Really looking forward to it. So if you guys like this channel, give me the big thumbs up and subscribe. And like always, not like the other people out here, you ask me a question and I am going to answer it, you know, whether you like to hear it or not. So I will give you the best opinion or example or explain something to the best of my knowledge so anyway guys have a great day man all right so i'm back so i was gonna wait a little while before i did this but the install went pretty easy so i'm gonna go ahead and show you where i mounted it and, and how this thing looks really fast um uh so bear with me here so here's what i ended up doing so I know it's kind of messy right now. It's going to get better, but that's how I mounted the controller. I just ended up bending these tabs in the vise. Uh, there again, nut zerts. Put a couple of those in. This thing's solid. Um, that's what it looks like inside of this. So you got your uh, wire for your switch power. This is your remote, positive, negative. And then this all it is all it is for your accessories, and you just little set screws. Um, get over here. And I'll show you this book. <clears throat> so that's what it looks like. So basically, you know, this is a switch pattern. It's just one through four, five through eight. <clears throat> so starting with one and two, it's got thirty amps in there. Uh, three and four are I think 15s no 20s am I right yeah 30s for the first two 20s for the second two 10s for five and six and fives for seven and eight uh, and then don't pay attention to this mess because this is going to change uh, this is just my power probe and like I've told you guys before if you don't have one of these things this is great you know because there again, you know, I can come up here. It's got a nice little light. You know, it tells me right there, 12.9 volts, and I have a ground. So, they're, they take a lot of the guesswork out. So, anyway, I just took one of the wires, which was a small red one for right now, jumped it off my power post over here, the inside of the 60 amp, and then out, and then the ground bar, you know, over here. So, like I said, I just kind of tied the wires up kind of haphazardly right now because once I get that dual battery over here all this is going to change um, and then I just put my my switch power wire right on my accessory block so inside this is how I was telling you it was gonna gonna go so now I can flip this thing up I can still get into my cubby hole you know, it's just got a little wire hanging back here no big deal so now, <clears throat> key on. So I put my radio, because it'll be a high draw. Um, when I get my roof lights, my A-pillar lights, a blank one, front bumper, backup, whips, rock lights. So you just click it. And it's gonna hard to, be really hard to see, but that is a blue backlight. So you can just turn them all on as you want. Turn them all off. Or like I said, here's the master power. You can just kill it all at once. And then when you come back, it turns everything back on that you had on. So nice switch. It's solid. You know. So anyway, so I figured I'd just let you see that. Uh, Why well, I had everything apart. And uh, so there again, hope you enjoyed this. If you got any questions, just put them in the old comment bar. You guys have a blessed day.